everyone is Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. How do you get four cards from one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock? Well, I'm about to show you how. Stay tuned. We are going to keep it oh so simple. We're going to take one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and we are going to turn it into four cards. And then we'll also make envelopes to go along with the cards. So you'll see just how easy and economical it can be to create some cards for all occasions. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. And welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the awesome way in which you support me and my channel. Today we're going to take this one 12 by 12 sheet of decorative cardstock and we are going to turn it into four cards. So I'll give you a closer look at those cards in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Here's a box that I made to hold these cards. It's just a standard A2 size card box that I have made on numerous occasions. So I'm not going to be making this box in this video. I will release a very quick video after this one with the box in it, but I don't want this video to be too long. So you'll have your choice. If you want to watch both, you can. If you're only interested in the cards, continue watching this video. But if you want to know how to make the box as well, that video is going to follow. So here are the four cards that I made. And y'all, they are just very basic cards. But look at what we're able to do with one piece of 12 by 12. And then I used some stickers to really accent the card and made it simple, clean, but elegant. And that's exactly how I like to make my cards because you guys know that I really am a clean, simple, minimalist crafter at heart. But that's not to say that a lot of the cards that others make with a lot of the embellishments on it aren't just as beautiful as these. My style just leans towards very simple and very clean. And then I'm going to show you how you can take some copier paper to make your envelopes. So here's what we're going to need. One 12 by 12 piece of decorative cardstock, and this is double sided. So I have the stripes on the front and the polka dots on the inside. So you can use this however you want, but I'm going to go with the black and white stripes because I think black, white, and red make for very elegant Christmas cards. And then I have two pieces of decorative printer paper. This is eight and a half by 11. Y'all, I've had this paper for years. I actually found it when I was going through the de-stash process. So I kept this paper so that I could use it to make some decorative envelopes, but it is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to show you how you can make your envelopes for the larger cards as well as the smaller cards using this paper. So you're going to need three sheets if you're making two large cards and two small cards. So you'll need three sheets of eight and a half by 11. So here's how we take that 12 by 12 piece and cut it down so that we can get four cards. We're going to take it on one of the 12 inch sides. We're going to cut it down eight and a half. And that's going to leave us with three and a half on this side. Then we're going to take that piece that we cut down to eight and a half by 12 and we're going to place it in on the 12 inch side and we're going to cut at five and a half and we'll cut the second piece at five and a half. So we're going to end up with two pieces that measure eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to have this strip left. You can save it if you want because it's a nice border to be able to use on another project. Then we're going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it on the three and a half inch side. We're just going to reduce it to three by 12. Then we'll turn it to the 12 inch side and we're going to cut two pieces at six inches. So we end up with two pieces that are six by three and two pieces that are eight and a half by five and a half. And those are our four cards. So we're going to take the two pieces that measure eight and a half by five and a half on the eight and a half inch side. We're going to score at four and a quarter. Then we're going to take the two pieces that measure six by three and on the six inch side, 
we're going to score at three. And then we can just fold our cards like this. And so now you can see that we have four card bases. If you need writing space on the inside, and I do want some writing space. If this was solid, I probably wouldn't even put down the white writing space on the inside, but I'm going to place two pieces that measure three and three quarters by five on the larger cards. So I am going to take some of my tape. And you guys see me make cards with stickers a lot, but this is just a great way to take your 12 by 12 and turn it into multiple cards if you need multiples. So we're going to take that second one and do the same thing. So there are those two. Then we're going to take two squares that measure two and a half by two and a half. And we're going to place these in the three by three cards. So let's go ahead and place that last one in. And so y'all, now we have our four card bases. I am just going to use some stickers to decorate my cards. We're going to keep it oh so simple, nice and clean. Because when you're starting with a background like black and white stripes, you really don't need to do too much to that to get that nice, elegant, upscale look. And on the second one, I think I want this pop of color here and then here at the bottom I think I'm going to take this little sticker right here and replace that tree skirt with that sticker now how cute is that so now we're going to take our two smaller cards and just find something for the front. And immediately the word joy pops out. And I like this little wreath, so I'm going to place that wreath right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the inside to see if I can match it properly. And y'all, just like that, we have four beautiful cards from one sheet of 12 by 12 decorative card stock and some white writing scrap. And so now I'm just going to take some stickers and I'm going to place one sticker on the inside of each one of my cards, just like this, to give it a little bit of cuteness. I think I'll put a word sticker on that one and then this little flower sticker there. Then I'm going to open the inside on this one. I'm going to place this snowman because I think that's cute. And then I'll take this one and I'm going to take the Mary and Bright and we're going to place it right there. Four cards just like that it was that easy to be able to make those four cards and they're made extremely economically because we're probably making all four of these cards for under a dollar fifty you're not going to be able to go into those stores and buy a card for a dollar fifty but here you've made four for about that amount so very quickly I'm going to show you how to make the envelope for the card that measures four and a quarter by five and a half we're going to take that eight and a half by 11 inch piece and I am just going to trim it down to seven and three quarters 
by 11. And then on the 7 and 3 quarter inch side, let's go ahead and score at 1. Rotate it to the opposite 7 and 3 quarter inch side. Score at 1. Then we're going to turn it to the 11 inch side and we're going to score at 4 and a quarter and at 8 and 5 eighths. And then we'll go ahead and make one of the envelopes for the 3x3 three three cards. We're going to go ahead and trim on the 8 and a half inch side at 4 and a quarter. And then we'll turn it to the 11 inch side and we're going to score at 8. And I said score at eight, I meant trim at eight. So you're going to have a piece that is four and a quarter by eight. On the eight inch side, we're going to score at three and at six and an eighth. Then we're going to rotate it to the four and a quarter inch side. And we're going to score at half an inch. Rotate it to the opposite four and a quarter inch side and score at half an inch. And then we just need to fold our scores. And the process for how we cut these envelopes and create the envelope form is going to be exactly the same. And I'm using a decorative printer paper, copier paper, but you can use whatever you have. If you have a solid white, you can go with solid white. If you have a red, you can go with red. I started with pieces that were eight and a half by 11. So you know that your standard copier size paper is going to work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove all four corner pieces from both envelopes. So we're basically going to cut in this way, this way, this way, and this way, and then we remove these pieces. So when I cut, I'm going to make sure that I cut inside of the line that I drew for you guys so that I can remove that piece. So now we have those pieces like that. We're just going to cut in at a very slight angle to remove these corner pieces. And this is just a very simplistic way to make an envelope. So once you open that out, then you have a standard envelope form. We're going to do the same thing over here. So first I'll cut in to get these tabs. Like that. And then I'll cut in slightly at an angle and so now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to round here 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 and here do the same thing on this one if you have a corner rounder you can use that you really don't even have to round your edges if you don't want to. I'm rounding because I like how it looks. So now that we have our pieces like this, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to do this with tape because there have been so many questions about making envelopes with tape versus glue. You can use a nice quality snail tape runner for this. So we add our tape to the widest end at the bottom. And then we're just going to fold up. And there we have an envelope. Do the same thing over here. So we're going to fold these two sides inward. Add some tape. Add some tape there. Take the widest end and add some tape. and fold up. So now we can bring in our card 
and you can place the card in that envelope and see that it fits. Bring in one of our larger cards, place that card in the envelope, and you can see that it fits. This larger card is fully mailable. The smaller card is not mailable in the USPS postal system. So my friends, that is it. That is how you can take one piece of 12 by 12 decorative cardstock and turn it into four cards, or you can even consider these tags if you want. But you can see just how simply beautiful these are. Just grab yourself a nice piece of decorative cardstock as the base, and then keep it simple with the stickers that you put on. You don't have to go over the top unless you want to. So I hope that you have enjoyed this awesome little video on how to take a 12 by 12 and get four cards. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.